Hey guys, this is Wildcard doing another tutorial for you guys. Basically, in this tutorial, I'm going to go over the headers, which is 1 through 5. Some people make more than that. I like to keep it at minimum of 5. And so, it's just a, a brief overview. It won't go into extreme details because I think that it all depends how you want it to look like. But I'll give you a basic idea of them. Basically, with mines, I try to keep them almost similar, but in ways different, and depending on each layout. So, like in this one, I'll have the sorry, there's ice cream music in the background. Anyway, um, there's you know on the the border with there's um, this one could be like let's say 50. So I know nowadays the the width is bigger. That's like the new thing or whatever, and you could set them at you know, left, right, center, and you could depict on the height of them, you could say how much space you want on the lettering, you know, it's kind of like an overview of what I said before, or in the blog, um, what it comes to font styles and characteristics, once you get packed on that, you can, it's, it's going to be so easy for you to understand how to edit your headers, because you really need to know how to style them. In, in, in order to know how to style then you need to know your basic font um, information this way they can be fun to edit and so like in this one I kinda have the similar for this layout you know um, I have somewhere the the side is rounded and another one where it has two lines some of them I have a lot of space on the top and bottom, some of them I have where there's um, margin, you know, like five points, this one has one point, so again, it all depends on your preferences, but once you have pat down on how they work and how to style them with the fonts and stuff, everything else is going to be a piece of cake. So like, when I go into my one through five, that I have on that layout. You know, there's basic information, like I said, you know, like the font family, font size, font weight, there's the text align, there's the color, there's background color, text transformation, like I said, it could be uppercase, lowercase, normal, and then there's margins, how much space you want them to have on the side, you know, like one of them, like I said, it has one, the other one has five. Letter spacing is pretty cool, it makes it kind of like stand out than regular text, because, you know, regular text doesn't have much space in between them. So the headers, you could have, you could be very playful with that. Uh, let's see what else. Um, like I said, the, the border left, it's what could be the width of it. So you can make it where it could be 50, it could be 100. But this one is 15, so it's pretty, you know, it's not too big, but it's not small. So it's kind of like, for me, it was perfect. And then we have what makes it round. And so with the border radius, that's what helps it make it round. So I say top left, make it 50 points. I'll make it, you know, this other thing, you know, and so forth in bottom left you know right whatever it makes it round and I will include these codes into a free text um, thing so that you can play with them and have fun with them and this way you can make your own styles and other ones I have where let's see oh the the one with the double lines on the on the right that I make it with this I say border right I want it to be six points kind of like thick but not too thick and I say it to be double because I want two lines and I pick a color you know and it's pretty easy to say you want a bigger smaller you can make it a single line you can make it a double line different color it's all up to you let's see what other cool things I can say oh text shadow you can have a text shadow as part of the title so in four I have a text shadow which you can't really see with this color but in my other ones uh, let's see I think it's in this one the four is like I want it to pop I want it the color to pop so the orange is there but then the the gray is kind of like makes it like flat so I add a text shadow so that the text could pop out so that's very useful for 
for it not to be boring. So you can do that with text shadow. And let's see what else we have. We have we spoke about line height, border. Um, oh yeah, the border you can. Um, it's very important with headers if you want it to have a border or not. Meaning, with one it doesn't have a border. With four and five, I do have borders, so you can say it. I want four to have a top border to be white, so you say that. For five, I have it to be a line, and I say I want a black color. So that's the fun part about the border. You have, you know, options to set that up as well. For five, it's kind of like very. How can I explain it? It's very technical in aspect of the dotted lines and the space that I say top, left, and bottom. So it can be very technical in the aspect for a new beginner, but it can be really fun once you get it padded down. So I say I want, you know, the top, bottom, left, you know, to be dotted. I want it to be this color. I want it to be at this width of the dots because you can make the dots really big or, or small I like it to be at one point so that makes it you know awesome and so you know in I say the line height and the padding for this one is five so that's why it has the space you know on the left to be that and it kind of cool when I separate them because it kind of like makes it oh look at that header it separates this information from that so it separates it that's basically what it is and so like I said there's so many options you can do with headers that I really consider for the user to really explore them and see what you can really come up with on your own and the possibilities are limited list with all the options you have with you know the options that I told you in font styles and characteristics you know, once you explore those with the headers or anything else in, in the layout, it makes it really fun to play with. And in one of my last layouts, I'm not sure, let me think of where I put it at so I can show you. I think it was in face pen. Let's see how much time I am at. Seven? Okay, we're not doing so bad. I think it was in Beautiful Pain. And with headers, you can also um, do the, what is it, like the first paragraph um, letter, they call it. That's how I do mine. So you can also do it whichever other way. I will make another tutorial explaining it further, but this is one of my headers that I chose for it to be at that way. And to make that one, I did H3. So basically, I said I want the font size to be this big. I want it to be at this width of the the header because you have the option of just leave it as is, where it stretches from left to right of the box within it or you could say it to be a certain width so in this one I said I wanted to be 14 I didn't want it to be too big like it is so I said I want it to be 14 and I also said let's see what else padding to be 5 because I wanted to have some space around it so that's what padding would do for it and then the line height, the border, so everything else. Oh, and the in inline block is what makes it um, to be a block. And then the margin also helps to make it where it would be, you know, cool for it to be within itself. You can make it bigger. You can make it smaller like this one. So it's kind of like it all depends on your preference. But like I said, headers, it's really fun. And you could do so many things with it and just explore. Have fun.